Hi, Tom Barcy, Military Embedded Systems. I'm at AUSA 2022. I am back at the General Microsystems booth with Ben Sharfi. Ben, he has a revolutionary new product that is at AUSA. It is called X9 Spider. It sounds scary, but I'm sure it's powerful. It is. It is as scary as it sounds. Uh, thank you for uh, having this talk with me. I want to tell you, this is I've been doing this for 43 years with General Microsystems. This That's is the best, hands, hands down, best product I've ever been involved with. We've been working on this project for five years. And finally, the technology been able to catch up with our concept and produce this product. So fundamentally, if you look at whether you look at the rack mount servers, whether you look at the VPX product line that we have over there, or standalone chassis or laptops, Anything in the industry that you work with is everything is what we call centralized computing system. What that means is that the entire box is all the functionalities in one box. If you had the wisdom five years to predict what's going to happen in five years from now and design the box now for what the needs are going to be, well, I think you're in the wrong business. You'd be in the stock market. So. In my 43 years, I've never been able to predict what the customer needs and what the customer's real needs will be. So we decided to decentralize the computers. No more everything in one box, one power supply, one cooling, one package. Because either you overbuy, you overbuild, or you underbuild. So this concept is completely new. So here is how it works. This is the processor. Yes, it fits in the palm of my hand. Weighs less than 2.2 .2 pounds. And it attaches with four Thunderbolt 4. And the Thunderbolt 4, as you know, they're limited to 10 meters at best, two or three meters without. We're running with 50 meters of cable. And yes, for the first time, we are putting photons and electrons in the same cable. So we deliver data at 40 gigabits per second, plus we bring 100 watt of power per connection. So the display is connected to that. If we want to add another display, we certainly just daisy chain the display. And we can come up here from display to display to display. Now, this storage that is sitting in here is a removable storage and it's connected with 50 meter cable or we have the ability to add these boxes in any way we want. We can stack them horizontally, vertically, and they all interlock with each other via this wedge lock. So we can package them any way we chose. And they have AI, cooling, switch, uh, power supplies, everything is centralized. This is the new architecture of the future. No more centralized computers, no more rack mount servers, no more ability to do that. Now. Here's a VPX card, VPX solution, VPX processor. But yet, as you can tell, clearly just the board itself is bigger than this. It's heavier and costs better than three times. Yes, we talk about VPX, but VPX is not the answer for future designs. Legacy products line. This is the future. This is the future of decentralized, distributed computing architecture. And here's what you can do with it. So I showed you the ATR boxes. Well, here's a new version of ATR boxes. You can put five of these modules in it. Removable storage, you can remove the storage, decentralize it. And you can put these modules, the switches, all that in here, including the power supply. And if you wish, you can put this in an AI module, the same thing I showed you over there, with eight Coax Express, 10 gigabit ethernet, and it goes into a wearable man pack box. So you have the ability for less than three pounds, a soldier can carry full situational awareness. You cannot touch this with VPX. And we're not talking about some ARM low, speed, low, speed, low, pro, low horsepower processor. We're talking about Xeon Ds. We're talking about very high end processors, all in that kind of a small footprint. It's legendary. It is legendary. 
This has been making for over five years. I had to thank my amazing team that I've been able to collect in the last five years. And we've been working very, very hard in GMS. And again, I want to thank the entire X9 Spider team. You guys did an amazing job. Thank you. And tell people how they can get more information on the X9 Spider. You certainly can go to X9 Spider on our website or www.gms4sbc.com. That's GMS, the number four, SBC, sugarbakercharlie.com. Thank you Thanks, very man. much.